the top categories of peptides that I really love using are first going to be the growth hormone secreted gogs. So if you want lean body mass, decrease in body fat percentage, and just overall body composition, you're going to want to use the growth hormone secreted gogs. That includes CJC abramorelin, that includes tesmorelin, this is where the GHRPs go, semorelin, there's a lot of different growth hormone secreted gogs. A little bit of science, it stimulates your pituitary gland in your brain to secrete somatotropes, which is growth hormone. So it increases it naturally or endogenously in the body. So it inhibits your inhibitory negative feedback loop. So a little bit of it too with CJC epimorelin will inhibit somatostatin, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. As growth hormone goes up, somatostatin goes up, binds onto growth hormone and decreases it. So double combo effect of specific peptides itself. CJC epimorelin is my favorite there. That's the growth hormone secretagogues. The weight loss peptides are going to be interesting. So you got AOD9604, you got semaglutide, which is a GLP like one peptide. Um, you're going to have different types and different mechanisms of action with those specific peptides. So AOD is going to destruct lipids or fat cells. Semaglutide is going to decrease glucose. Um, and it decreases glucagon in the body, which is a storage of glucose. And it's actually going to destruct uh, fat cells as well. Big one with semaglutide, it actually decreases uh, glucose levels, but in turn as well has side effects as well with thyroid cancer, thyroid disease, and specific uh, other contraindications as well. So consult your doctor with that one. Then it goes into the anti-inflammatory ones. This Wolverine protocol, it's called as well, BPC-157, in combination with thymus and beta, will increase its anti-inflammatory effects tenfold. So if you take both of those in combination, you actually want to high dose it. Um, for dosing instructions, let me know. But typically, I dose it pretty high two times a day. With that, it decreases inflammation in autoimmune diseases, joint issues, uh, inflammation in general, if you have underlying infection. Um, those are the big causes there. Post COVID as well, uh, I've been doing a lot of that or just COVID in general or infections, increases spike proteins and inflammation, usually causes pericarditis or some chest pain, chest pressure. Then they, everyone gets in their head about anxiety around having chest pain. Is it a heart attack? Am I dying? Those are the big ones where most of it's going to be due to inflammation. Fourth tier is going to be your antimicrobial immune boosting um, peptides. So thymus and beta, thymus and alpha, LL37, and I'd probably say another one is going to be thymolin. are going to be the top immune ones that I'm typically using. Thymolin is going to be the precursor to stimulate your thymus gland to secrete T cells and B cells. Thymus and alpha does it as well, increasing CD4 counts, CD8 counts, which is your immune system in general. Then it gets into thymus and beta does it as well, like secreting uh, T cells. Then LL37 is going to be antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Uh, so I use that a lot for mycotoxins or mold. I use a lot of that for Lyme disease as well. So a lot of information there, a lot to digest. Those are my top ones around the four categories that I love. The growth hormone screegogs, you're going to have the weight loss, you're going to have the antimicrobial, antifungal, or just immune boosting. And then the other one, inflammation. So the Wolverine protocol. So inflammation, massively important there. If you need more information, there's other videos. Click the link below and subscribe.